Hey everybody, welcome to Bike Ombre. So a bike company out of California, Onyx, has announced a new model called the Laser. And you probably won't be too surprised if I tell you that it's an e-bike. But what if I told you it's a dirt jumper e-bike? And as baffling as that sounds, we're gonna check out the details, specs, and pricing of this bike. So now, let's check out the Onyx Laser e-dirt jump bike. So Onyx is a small company out of El Segundo, California that specializes in e-motorbikes. They have two other models, the City and the Racer, both which are e-motorbikes slash mopeds since they have pedals. And while those two models focus heavily on being street legal e-motorbikes, the Laser is the first time making an e-bike, and they chose to go outside the box and make it a dirt jumper. So the Laser frame is made of 6061 T6 aluminum, and its welding uses a technology called SWAT or Smooth Weld Additive Technology, which is a welding technology that incorporates a two matching design so that the welds are smooth and almost impossible to see, which makes it look almost like it's made out of carbon. Along with the smooth welds, the frame also has internal cable routing, which does give the bike a really clean look to it. There's an external charging port on the down tube, and the power button, mode selector, and power level are all integrated into the top tube with a really nice wood bezel. The fork has 100 millimeters of travel with lockout, but there's no indication of what brand the fork is. Also the wheels, hubs, and handlebars all have no brand in them as well. But the bike does come with 26 inch Kenda dirt jump tires and Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. There's gonna be two models that you can opt for. The regular version with a 500 watt motor and the Pro with a 900 watt motor. The regular laser will come with a 500 watt proprietary Onyx dark matter mid-drive motor that has five levels of assist up to 20 miles an hour and provides up to 95 newton meters of torque. The battery has a capacity of 504 watt hours, which will give it about 30 to 70 miles of range depending on your assist mode. The expected charge time from empty is about seven hours. The Laser Pro will come with a 900 watt Bafang M600 and mid-drive motor that will have five levels of assist and provides an astonishing 120 newton meters of torque. And just like the regular Laser, the battery is a 504 watt hour, which will give you about 30 to 70 miles of range, and the expected charge time is 7 hours. And the regular laser will weigh in at 40 pounds, and the laser pro will weigh in at 41. As of right now, both versions of the laser are on pre order, with the regular laser having an MSRP of 2800 but if you pre order right now, it's $2,000. The pro version has an MSRP of 3400 but the pre order amount is $2,800. The website says the expected ship date is about six to eight weeks from the date of this recording, so sometime in October. I'm a little torn how I feel about the laser. There's the part of me that thinks that there's no reason that a dirt jumper needs to have an electric version, especially one that weighs 40 pounds. Also, the no-name fork and wheels do make me a little nervous. But there's the hooligan side of me that would love to ride this everywhere and turn every ride into a session where I could pop off every obstacle that I could find. Also, it would be really fun riding a dirt jumper everywhere without getting too tired. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know how you feel about the laser. Do you plan on picking one up? Or do you think this bike makes zero sense? Please leave your comment below. Also, if you liked the video, maybe consider subscribing. Thank you so much, and have a great one. Let's check out the Onyx Laser Dirt E-Jumper.